Topology is the study of shapes of spaces up to deformation. So um, in geometry, we study uh, objects with, which have a certain distance between them. Mathematicians call that a metric. And in topology, you allow that metric to deform and um, you study the intrinsic shape of the space um, up to that deformation. So a classic example is a, a topologist can't distinguish a coffee cup from a donut because if you had a coffee cup made out of clay, for example, you can deform it into the shape of a donut without cutting or gluing. Three manifold is a space with three dimensions. So um, you know, left, right, up and down, forward and back. And so anywhere you go inside of it has these, these three-dimensional coordinates, but it can be globally non-trivial. So you might go in some direction and come back to where you started and um, go in a, in a closed loop without a returning, for example. There are th three-dimensional objects that are examples of three-dimensional manifolds like, uh, like a solid donut or a solid coffee cup. Thurston um, formulated this um, hypothesis about geometry of three-dimensional manifolds in the 70s, and he formulated what's called the geometrization conjecture, and he proved many special cases of this conjecture for um, what are called Hawken manifolds. So these are, an example is if you have a closed loop of string, which mathematicians call a knot, then um, you can remove that string from space and the complement is a topological space. He formulated this conjecture and he, in the process, he formulated uh, many problems that sort of came out of the techniques. So he has a famous list of 24 problems. Over the, the last 30 years, there's a lot of mathematicians, including many of his students or his um, former postdocs like myself, have worked on these problems. interesting thing about mathematics is that um, you never know exactly how it's going to be used because it's, um, you know, again, because of these, this kind of generalization, many mathematicians will, um, will write papers where they generalize some concept from its, its original um, sort of um, um, origins in, might have been in some physical theory, and they can generalize it to some vast extent. And sometimes that's completely useless to anything that we know in reality, but at other times um, it ends up being exactly what physicists or sometimes computer scientists need.